So previously we have created a slab built pot. So I'm gonna take this out of the bag. And it is now leather hard. It, will, it can move a little bit, um, but um, it's strong enough to hold some other things. So um, I can see a little crack here. I'm just gonna go across it with my finger, but not try to touch it too much. I have another slab here, and I'm gonna create the ears. I'm working off of this design here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take a needle tool and I'm gonna create the ear for one and I'm gonna test out to see if it's the size that I want and then if I like that I'll put this here and then I can use that as a template for my other one. Alright, so I'm gonna sharpen that just a tad. Okay, <clears throat> so I have these ears, and I made them a little bit longer than what I wanted so that there will be a piece that comes inside. So I'm gonna kinda see if that looks the way I want it to. Um, and it looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna maybe move this down just a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm gonna use this needle tool just to make a little guideline on there and take it out. And then I have to score my pieces. So I take this fork and it really works better if you turn it opposite of how you eat with it. And I'm gonna score. And I'm gonna score on the inside of my pot. Just all inside there. And then I'm gonna add some slip with a paintbrush. And remember that's just that really watery clay. It works like glue. You have to put it on both places. So you score both places, and then you put slip on both places, and then you're going to smush it together. And then I'm gonna take my finger in here and, and uh, smooth it out. All right, now, that should hold pretty well. If I don't want that line, I can take my thumb here and go across and join it that way so that it all becomes one piece. Just kind of like back and forth with my thumb and that'll make that really strong. All right, and I'm gonna do that with this one now. Uh, I wanted to have it maybe a little bit wider out. Really squish. Um, so I stick it on there and then I'm going to smooth out. All right. And um, so you can take, this is some other tools over here. There's a wooden piece here because my thumb is kind of too wet to work with it right now. So I'm going to take this and it's almost like a wooden finger to uh, join those pieces. So just smooth them out. Um, now, there's a couple ways you can do this next part. I could just carve in and make the eyes um, with the tool like this. This is nice. I like that a lot better than this. Um, but uh, maybe I could do my whiskers like this. And then that makes a nice thick line. Another thing I can do is I can take um, my needle tool again and make another eye. I'm gonna test to see if that's gonna be the right size. See, that looks a little too big to me. So I'm gonna just trim a little bit off. And that looks nice. Um, so then I'm gonna use that as a template 
trace around. And now I've got two. Um, so once again, I'm going to score. I'm going to score right about where I want it. And I'm going to paint slip. And then I stick it on. And I smooth. Now this one, um, what you can do is take that wooden tool again and just take a little bit off the bottom there and smooth it on because I still wanted to have that line. So that one looks good. I'm going to kind of clean up that whisker and um, take this tool here. Just make that eye look the way I want it to. Okay, I'm just going to... This is good for scraping little pieces off too. So I'll take this curved in, I think. And that's how you join a piece on.